Do you want your Warband and Conqueror's Blade to stop looking like this? And start looking like this? Well if so, make sure to keep watching this video because I'm going to be going over all the tips and tricks to maximize your unit XP in Conqueror's Blade and get those units leveled up as quickly as possible. This video is mainly intended for newer players to the game, but if you've been playing for a while there might be some things you've forgotten in here or newer players in your house that you want to share this video with in order to get them up to speed faster. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the first tip on how to maximize your unit XP in Conqueror's Blade. So the first method that everyone should be doing is your 5 weekly banner raids. So if I hit J here, you can see everyone can do 5 of these per week, and this is really the best method to maximize your unit XP. Some important things to keep in mind while you do these is you're going to want a war, a good warband build for these. So the best one I would do is basically bring a fast cav unit that's good at killing units. In this case, we're in purple tier lock, so I'm going to go with Krieg's Brooder as the best purple cav to do this. And then I have a backup of Dagrax Lancers if my Krieg's Brooder die for whatever reason. I'm also bringing my Martella Tori because they're mercenaries and provide an additional, I believe it's 30% unit XP. And then I'm also going to bring my unleveled unit, in this case level 13 Squires. So just basically make sure you have one, at least one, fast cav unit that's going to be really good at killing units. If you're in Golden Era, this would be Huanui Heavy Cav is the best at that currently. Purple tier lock, really Krieg's Brooder is your best option here and then make sure to bring any mercenaries if you have them for the additional xp bonus on those guys as well and then also bring your unleveled unit as you'll get a base unit xp bonus just by having these guys in your warband the other thing to keep in mind before you go into those bandit raids make sure to pop your best unit xp cards here so in this case i'm going to pop my five one battle senior super unit xp cards as well as my one marshall's handbook as those will maximize and stack into my unit xp you can also pop your hero XP cards here if you want to maximize your seasonal rune unlocks and maximize your battle pass XP in this as well. The last tip I have for you is to bring Maul as it's the best hero weapon in the game for killing units and it'll help give you those extra unit kills that boost your MVP level in the match and gives you more unit XP as a result. If you do all these things, you can generally get around 200 to 300 unit XP per bandit raid. And so if you do those five bandit raids, you can generally level up one unit around three to four times by doing this. And you can do that every week. Once you're actually in the bandit raid, the best advice I could give you is just head straight towards the little exclamation marks on the map. That's generally where the biggest blobs of enemies are going to be. So you can see in this example of bandit raid, I'm charging through the gate. There's a lot of competition as all the enemies are in this middle area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to pick up a few kills here and there in this first fight here. Here, but then I'm gonna try to quickly run past my allies to hit the next group of enemies. In a highly contested banner raid like this, this is really what you have to do to get your troop kills and not let everyone else take all the kills. So you see, I'm running very quickly past all the units that we were engaging there to get all these extra kills in the back here. I'm just continually looking for the next big group of enemies. It helps if you know where the next spawn's going to be. So in this case, I know there's going to be a really big enemy spawn in the back here, and I don't think any of my allies are going to get to it before I do. So I go ahead and pull my Kriegsbruder to the very back here, and you can see there's this giant blob of enemy troops. If you can get just one really big blob like this, that can really set you up for the whole match. So just look for one really big uncontested blob of enemy units to go after, and that can net you a ton of kills. You see here, I think I got around 100 kills just from this one big blob of enemies here. So that will set me up to be above the 160 goal that I set for myself for every banner raid. And then I also caught the very last spawn of the enemies because I knew they're also going to spawn a big group at the very end here. So that allows me to get another 100 something kills, 100 plus kills just from that. Um, I just run my Kriegsbruder in here, use my two ability. These Kriegsbruder are really good at these extended fights like this. So now I'm almost at 350 kills just by being at that one back spawn before any of my allies were. I know it's not ideal, you know, ideally you wouldn't have to compete with your allies like this, but unfortunately that's just how banner raids are set up currently. So this is what I generally do. I'll pick out one big blob of enemy units that I know is going to spawn somewhere. And ideally if there's two big spawns like that close to each other, that's what I'm going to go for. And that should allow you to pick up at least 150 troop kills per banner raid, assuming it's not too highly contested by other good players with cav units. The second best method you're going to want to do to level up your units each week is you can use your supply tokens to unlock unit medals up to a certain cap per week. So if I go to the supply token exchange, I can get up to 10 unit metal exchanges per week. So by using one supply token, I can get three unit medals per week. Each of these unit medals is worth 5,000 shared unit XP. So if I do 10 of these here, I will basically get 150k unit XP if I use this. So you can see I have 100 unit medals unlocked so far. That will be an additional 500k. So if you do the max of 10 unit metal exchanges per week, you can basically get 150k unit XP or about half a level on an almost maxed out unit in Conqueror's Blade. So that's another good way you can prioritize 
leveling up your units if you want to use your supply tokens for that versus other things. I would generally recommend uh, first using them for Scrolls of Mastery and Doctrines if that's what you want to do. But if you want to prioritize unit leveling up your units, you can do that to exchange for these unit medals here. The third and the last free way to efficiently level up your units is by just playing the game. So there will occasionally be temporary events in the game that can help help boost your XP. So for example, right now, there's this ongoing sign-on bonus that lasts for 12 hours that will increase your unit XP by this plus 30% that you can see down here at the bottom right. So you'll generally just be playing the game, mainly playing sieges or ranked battles to help level up your units here. And if you want to min-max that by playing sieges, what you'll want to do is create a warband build with a mercenary unit. Uh, Martellatory is really the best for this as it only costs 30 leadership and can slot into most warband builds like this. So it only costs 30 leadership and it will slightly boost your unit XP. You can bring your unleveled unit to additionally give a base XP bonus, but unless your unit is close to max level, I wouldn't generally recommend doing that. I would recommend just bringing the best warband you have, which should increase your chances of giving MVP, which should more than make up for the base XP that you lose by not bringing that unleveled unit to your games. So that's the last free way. Now let's get into what are the paid ways you can skip some of this progression if you want to. So these next few methods are for all the whales out there that want to spend some extra money on this game to level up their units faster. The first thing I would recommend for all players who just want to spend a little bit of money on the game and are playing the game consistently is just to buy the battle pass. So in the battle pass, you'll get a lot of rewards here that you can see at the top that are locked until you unlock this. It's not super expensive. I think it's around $10, but sometimes they do have discounts on this as well. But you can see they have a lot of unit metal drops in this battle pass as you go, as well as just a ton of other rewards that you can get. So if you want a little bit of extra unit XP along the way, plus all these other rewards, I would just recommend doing the battle pass to start with. That's basically the best most efficient method to getting a ton of different rewards for a relatively small cost. So the next paid method is by buying a premium account. This is basically their subscription service, so you can buy a 30 day, 90 day, or 180 day subscription service, and that will give you these rewards. So for each battle, you'll get an additional hero and unit XP, bronze coins, and honor, and you also increase your fief and daily quest rewards. So this can be worth it if you're playing the game a lot. It's definitely not the best value for money. It's pretty expensive to buy these longer subscriptions. I would recommend this if you're also hurting for bronze as the bronze from this is really good and you can build up a big pool of bronze and then you won't really have to worry about repairing your units after a while. So I would recommend this method if you want both the unit XP bonus if you're playing a lot and if you need bronze to help repair your units for territory wars and things like that. It can be worth it for a limited amount of time to build up your bronze reserves. Another paid way that can be relatively efficient if you're playing the game a lot is to buy the consumables that are relatively cheap. So for only 44 sovereigns, you can buy one of these 10 battle unit XP cards. So what this will do is give you a 50% XP bonus for 10 battles for your units, and this can stack with other XP cards. So this can stack with, for example, the sign-in bonus that I mentioned earlier that's going on right now to give an additional 30% plus that 50% I mentioned. So you can see I have these active for another 100 battles. So I'm getting the 50% plus 30% plus another 30% from the premium account here. So these can add up and give a pretty good amount of unit XP by just playing the game normally. So it is kind of unfortunate that you have to pay to get any decent amount of unit XP from Sieges, but you know that's just how the game is. So that's another method you can use. If you're playing the game a lot, I would recommend buying these if you have these sovereigns to spare. The last and by far the most expensive, but also most efficient method is by just buying the full progression packs of unit XP. This is very expensive, so I just want to point that out. But this is basically what people you see will do that have the full max seasonal units right away. This is generally what they're doing is just by buying these progression packs. So the main progression packs here that you can see is this grand unit training pack for 14,000 sovereigns or this greater unit training pack at 10,000 sovereigns. Those are like the best value for money if you have that money to spend. There's also smaller ones, but of course the ratios are a little less favorable than these two. So let's look at the greater unit training pack as an example. So it costs right now around 10,000 sovereigns. That's equivalent to basically $100. So you can essentially afford this greater unit training pack with $100. And if you're curious, there's 850 unit medals in this. 10 super unit training cards, 20 boxes of bronze, and two scrolls of renewal. This 850 unit medals is basically equivalent to around 4 million unit XP. That equates to 14 unit levels at the 300k per unit level. So essentially 14 unit levels just through these unit medals for close to maxed out units. So basically, let's say you had Iron Reapers at level 15 and you use all these unit medals, that will take them almost up to the full max level of level 30. So that's kind of the way to think about it if you're wondering how this exchanges. So that's basically the last method. It's very expensive, but of course you will level up units very quickly if you want to build out your warband very quickly. Um, so that's kind of the ultimate pay to progress for whales out there. 
Um, so if you don't want to do that, just stay to the other methods. But if you do have some extra money to spend, you can do that if you want to build out your barracks very quickly. But that's really all the methods I know about. Let me know down in the comments if I missed anything, if you have any additional tips and tricks to give other players. And if you're new to Conqueror's Blade, check out the video description below to use the links for my in-game gift code if you're new to Conqueror's Blade or to download the game from Steam if this is your first time seeing the game. But hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you out on the battlefield.